We have a new tool in the fight against the coronavirus. The FDA has approved a saliva-based test developed at the University of Illinois. News Nation reporter Tonya Francisco shows us why it's being called a game changer. The emergency use authorization for the COVID shield tests comes after 1.5 million University of Illinois students at the Urbana-Champaign, Chicago and Springfield campuses have taken it since the fall of 2020. You're drooling into a tube and so there's it's not invasive. It's also 96% accurate, doesn't have false positives and the results are available within 24 hours, sometimes less. We can actually identify the the virus anywhere from that second to that fourth day. So we're able to catch folks in the pre-carrier and the pre-symptomatic stage, which allows us to quickly isolate and mitigate the virus before they can get other sick. Ron Watkins is the managing director for Shield Illinois. He says the test doesn't require a healthcare professional to administer, and it's much cheaper than the current PCR tests, which average between ninety and one hundred dollars. U of I says its saliva test costs between twenty and thirty dollars. Researchers at the University of Illinois Champaign Urbana campus developed the test in 2020 and put it to use in the fall as it welcomed students back. From the time after the students showed up and they able to and the campus was able to quickly identify, isolate, and mitigate the virus, they were able to hold it under one percent the entire time. It has also kept the positivity rate in the surrounding community low as well. In that combination of the easy to collect, the high accuracy test, the really fast reporting, and that reporting is, is going to the local public health as well as to the individual immediately right, off, right out of the lab. Uh, you can't put that all together and it's really that, that great package that, that makes this such an incredible test and as you said, a game changer. That was News Nation reporter Tonya Francisco reporting for us in Illinois.